Hi everyone. So it seems like it'll take me two videos to solve this problem, which is quite complicated. So last time we discovered that throwing in here first is not enough, and we have to do something fancier by throwing in here, hoping that white captures, and we'll play this whole sequence. By doing this, black can make a living shape this way. The problem is that white can simply capture number five, and actually white can connect everything back, like this. There will be no connect and die for black to play. And now if black cuts on the outside, white can simply play this move. This is three liberties versus black's three liberties, and white will be able to extend its own liberties this way. Black cannot bend here, number 23 will just be captured this way, and black will all die. So this is not going to work for black. What will work, however, is for black to play this move, white must capture, and now black can play this move. If white captures, now black can play this connect and die. White just needs to connect everything, and now white can no longer connect. This will be a connect and die. And if white plays this move, making a real eye, black can play at number five. This is a snapback against these three white stones. White cannot capture this way, so white will just leave it here and make a living shape this way. But black still doesn't have a living shape. So what should black do? Now we have to literally think outside the box, right? We have to play this cut. White has three answers, this extension, this Atari, or this Atari. So if white extends here, black can make this move be something like this, right? If white plays here, you can Atari, and now you have escaped, right? This is good for black. So of course, white will want to crawl here on the second line, making it harder for black. And for the purpose of this problem, if black really wants to escape, it can't, right? You can play this double honey here on the second line and Atari twice on the first line. Then black should be able to make a real eye here, I believe. Can white play this move? Black can probably cut off number 20. So once white extends here, black will be able to live this way. If white Atari's from this side, black can extend, white jumps out. Now it seems like black can play this move. If white plays this, then black will be able to escape this way. Right? Throwing in here doesn't work. This is a snapback, so black needs to be careful. But black can capture this way, and number 18 cannot be connected. So black can succeed after number 17. If number 12 is here, then it seems like black can play this move. If white plays on the right side, black can escape this way. If white plays here, then this will be something like this. The point is that eventually black will be able to play a ladder against these three white stones here. So black can succeed with number 11 and 13. Similarly, if white Atari is here, black can still play this move. White can't do this. This would be very similar to one of the previous patterns. White plays here. Then once again, black can play this move and escape. White plays here. No, well, actually, this is an Atari on black. Black can capture here. Right? If white plays on the outside, then arguably, Black can escape here. Will black be able to make a living shape? This get quite complicated, but I think so. Number 24 will be cut off. Because number 27 is Sente, black has this Atari, and the cut at number 31. So this gets really complicated, but I think there's a way for black to escape. So this problem really is way harder than I imagined. And I hope this solves it after number seven. Of course, the variations could get more complicated. So feel free to try some of the variations on your own. And please let me know if you have more questions. Thank you for your patience. And I'll see you in the next problem.